seminar is part of the ISME program, which is the Industry Initiatives for Science and Math Education. And what they do is they place teachers in industry jobs for the summer so that we can get some experience with research or other industry jobs that we may not be getting anymore in our day-to-day -day classroom experiences. As part of that program, we have the option of applying to the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. I was matched up with Dula Parkinson on the uh, tomography beam line, and he agreed to take me on as an intern this summer. So I spent seven weeks here at LBNL, specifically at the Advanced Light Source, um, learning more about physics and um, x-ray tomography and 3D imaging, which eventually um, I wanted to bring back to the classroom in the form of 3D printing. This is definitely the first time we've done a trip like this at seventh grade at our school and honestly in my teaching career. Um, I like to tell people that my experience here at the ALS really has transformed what I teach in seventh grade. And I thought, wouldn't that be neat to have them actually experience what it's like to be a scientist and develop an experiment and write a proposal and go through the peer evaluation process. They did work in collaborative peer editing teams. So we always study about micrometers and nanometers and millimeters. And it's a very abstract uh, concept for kids. So the fact that they needed to understand what it meant to have something at the micron resolution and that they couldn't image things at the nanometer scale. And if it was too many millimeters, it wouldn't fit in the tool. So for the first time, measurement really had a meaning to them. The groups that were um, scored by their peers as able to stay and run their experiments, they will be working with Doula to mount the sample and use the tool and collect the data. They're actually going to manipulate that data in the data visualization room. And then, most exciting for me, that data is going to come back to the classroom for all the students to use. Kids will be scanning a variety of samples that they either find structurally interesting on the outside so that they can 3D print, or perhaps they are curious about the structure inside, which makes it um, a really good choice for the x-ray tool. Hi, I'm Sam and I'm 13 and I'm a 7th grader at BPC. I love 3D printing and technology and so I'm working on scanning an agar to see why it sticks to plate, sticks to petri dishes when you hold it upside down and why microbes like to eat it. Okay, I'm Kira. Um, I'm Marina. And um, I was working on where we were going to scan um, a butterfly wing. Um, we were going to scan a dog tooth. To, um, we were going to scan it because we thought it would be interesting to print it because you know, all these people um, in the world need implants. It's like a one, once in a lifetime kind of opportunity. And you really get a chance for even kids who don't really, who don't um, think they want, they want to be scientists when they grow up. This could change their minds. Or